So I'm going to use Sketchpad's iterate command to create a fractal that's called the Koch curve and then use that to make a snowflake. So I'm going to start with a segment and the Koch curve is formed by finding the one-third and two-thirds points along this segment and replacing that middle third of the segment with sort of an equilateral triangle. So mostly I'll be using the transform command. I'm going to double click this point to make it the center of a dilation and then I'm going to dilate the other end point by a scale factor of one-third and then I'm going to take that same point and dilate it by the factor of two-thirds. Now I'm going to take this point and mark it as a center and then rotate this point by 60 degrees and then I'm going to connect each of these four points I should say each of these five points with segments and finally I'm going to hide the original segment. So where that middle third used to be there's now this sort of equilateral triangle spike that pops up there. Now I want to take that process and repeat it on each of the four segments that were formed as a result of the process. So I'm going to select the two original endpoints of the segment and then go to the transform menu and pick iterate. And what I'd like to do is map this process onto this segment here. So I'm going to map the original endpoint A onto itself and then the original endpoint B I want to map onto here and you can see I've got the beginnings of a fractal. But I need to repeat that process for each of the other three segments as well. So I'm going to add a new map using the structure drop down menu and I'm going to select these two points in order. Add another map and continue on down to the third segment and finally a fourth map which I will apply to the last segment. Um, before I press iterate I'm going to change the display so that it shows the final iteration only and then click iterate. Now I'm going to hide these four segments And I'm going to hide these three points. And this is a Koch curve. I can select it and I can use the minus key to decrease the number of iterations or the plus key to increase the number of iterations. And then I'm going to leave it where I like it. Now I'm going to create that equilateral triangle I'm going to do that by selecting this as the center and rotating this point by 60 degrees. And then I'm going to take my curve that I created and make it into a custom tool. So I'm going to go to the custom tool menu and I'm going to go create new tool. And I'm going to just call this Koch curve. Now I can use my new tool and apply it to these points and apply it to these two points and there I have my snowflake. I can change it to the size I want and then I'm going to hide these three points. And there you have a Koch snowflake based on iteration.